Hello, welcome to another episode of Google Workspace Admins. Today we'll show you how to set up single sign-on with third-party identity provider. We have just signed up for Okta trial, so that's what we will be using today, but you can use any other SAML compliant identity providers that you may have access to. So instructions here are relatively straightforward. So I have copied and pasted the URLs and upload the certificate and check the box here where it has to be checked. So before turning it on, I'm just going to go ahead and save it as so there's no changes. So if I click on next here on the accounts.google.com page, I'm directed to Google password or I'm prompted for my Google account password because SSO is profile is not turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and show you that once it's turned on, any sign-in requests into Google accounts other than super admins will be redirected to Okta. So if you want to initially do some testing, you will need to set up a network mask. So that's something you can do. So, but now Google also allows for partial SSO or SSO profile assignment. So that's something you can do as well. But there's something to keep in mind. So it is a new feature uh, that's made available as of November 19th, which will be rolling out over the next group over the course of the next few days. So the other thing to note in this image from Google here is that until you first turn on SSO profile, you are not able to assign the profile to your users. So when you first turn it on without a network mask, that means everyone will be uh, prompted or redirected to your IDP if their session has expired or if they're signing in for the first time or signing in to new devices. So let's go back to the SSO page here, and I'm going to set up a network mask. So this is my IP address here of my VPN that I'm using. So I'm going to put that in here, but rather than using 11, I'll use 12 and pretend I'm a user who is outside a network mask. So in previous screen or previous sign-in attempt, I was, or I didn't set up a network mask, so I was redirected to Okta sign-in page. But now that I am outside the network mask, what I'm expecting is that I will be just be prompted for my Google password again. So as expected, I'm being prompted for my Google password. So this is a uh, trick you can use to uh, test SSO before you roll it out to your user base or turn on SSO while you assign SSO profile to your users who will be testing or you will be rolling out to. So that's the first step here. So now I'm going to go ahead and assign SSO profile. So I'm going to go ahead and change it for the root org unit. So everyone under this root org unit will just use direct Google sign-in. I'm only going to assign Okta to Brian's test org here, assign it. So because now, I'm going to go ahead and remove the network mask. So Brian underscore SSO is now, there is no network, network masking being applied and I'm in an org unit where ID, identity provider is in use. So I'm going to click next. So as you can see, now I am directed to Okta sign-in screen. I'm going to change my org unit for just to demonstrate. So Brian underscore SSO is in that Brian's test org unit, org unit. And I'm going to change my org unit here to root or cloud identity, cloud identity users. I'll just change it. As you can see, now I'm being prompted for my Google password because I'm outside the org unit where SSO profile is assigned. I'm going to go ahead and put myself back in test org unit. So before I do that, I'll just show you that I'm indeed in different org unit. Let's change org unit here, users, test org, continue. So as you can see, now I'm being re redirected to Okta. So I'll complete the sign in to make sure that I have set this up correctly. So now I'm signed in through an SP initiated sign-in flow. I'm going to go ahead and close this and also test the, the test identity provider initiated sign-in flow or IDP initiated workspace admins.octa.com. 
Ryan underscore Kim or SSO at workspaceadmins.org. And I need to enter my password, which was that. So now I'm, I'm signed into Okta. So Okta gives you a few options for configuration. So by default, it'll give you options to launch into Google Sites, Google Account, Google Keep, Gmail, Drive, or Calendar, but you can configure any other apps as necessary. So if you are enforcing context-aware access policies, you may have some issues here if you're launching directly into those apps. So that's something to keep in mind if you are seeing some weird behaviors, but we'll cover that in another video. So I'll launch into Google Drive because this is a cloud identity free account. So this will have access to Drive. However, if I try to launch into Gmail or Calendar, it'll give me an error message saying that I do not have access because it does not have a workspace license. So that's how you set up uh, SSO with third party identity provider or IDP and also assign a partial SSO profile or assign SSO profile to some of your users. So if you found this video useful, uh, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please leave us comments below and we'll get back to you. Thank you.